Hi, welcome to a video tutorial from Robojax. In this video, we are going to learn about this AM2320 humidity and temperature sensor. And we will display the temperature in Fahrenheit and Celsius and also relative humidity on this LCD1602 display, which uses I2C module with simple four wire and this simple setup here. So you can get the code for this project by clicking at the link in the description, which will take you to robojax.com slash learn slash Arduino. Let's get started. I have another video explaining how to use this one, so I'm not gonna explain it fully here. I'm just giving you the example of how to connect. And also I have another video explaining this module, which I'm not gonna talk about the size and other characteristic or data sheet. So we just go directly how to use it. If you need further detail or full explanation, please watch my other video on this module and also watch my other video for this LCD1620 with this I2C communication. The link for both of these will be provided in the description which you can just visit and view it. The range that this can show is from minus 40 to plus 80 degrees Celsius and the drift is 0 0.1 degrees Celsius centigrade per year. For this AM2320 module, you are either getting it like this or it might be on a module, on a PCB module with a pin position different. But the VCC, ground VCC, SDA and SCL, and notice here we have two extra resistors, so they just put it on this module. So the pin for the actual modules are uh, the left pin, the first one, it goes to 5 volts VCC, this one goes to SDA, which is a4 on Arduino Uno and then this is going to the ground and then this goes to SCL. Well, what you do is we will connect from this SDA and SCL one 4.7 kilo ohm or something between 4.7 or up to 10 kilo ohm to 5 volts and from SCL also to 5 volts. So you just put these resistors. The pins will be connected like that and after that connect this one. Then we have this uh, different Arduino, if you have Arduino Mega, SDA will be connected to 20 and then SCL will be to 21, Leonardo and Duo, these all will be mentioned in wire library at uh, arduino.cc website. The device is where I have connected 5 volts from my Arduino into these two wires, into these, into these two lines. So this side is all positive 5 volts and the other one is the negative. So the left pin is connected to 5 volts. The first pin is connected to 5 volts. This on the breadboard is connected to 5 volts and the blue line is connected to the ground in here. So I've connected to 5 volts. The sensor, the first pin is connected to 5 volts to this positive. And then the third pin is connected to the ground, which is connected here. So this, this remains the second and the fourth. Second pin is connected via 4.7 kilo to the positive, and the fourth one is connected via 4.7 kilo to the positive. You can put any resistor above 2 kilo ohm up to 10 kilo ohm. So that will be just fine. So this is done. Now let's uh, check this one. The I2C. The I2C has four pins here. We have VCC, we have ground. So VCC will be connected to 5 volts, ground is, ground is connected to the ground, and then we have SDA and SCL. So this is SCL and this is SDA. So the LCD module needs to be connected to SDA and SCL via I2C communication. So I have connected those two wires. So this one is SDA and this is SCL and then I'm going to connect the SDA to the second pin in here so that is connected to SDA and now SCL and from SCL I'm gonna put this into the fourth pin. 
So SDA is connected to this point and SCL is connected here, where this point is also connected to SDA and SCL of this module. Then from both of these, this is SDA, the yellow, I've connected it to this pen SDA and my Arduino. Don't worry, I'm going to show you if your Arduino doesn't have. Now from this point, SDA and SCL. These two, the SDA will go to A analog 4 and this will go to analog 5. Here in my Arduino I have SDA, so SDA is connected to SDA and SCL is connected here. If your Arduino doesn't have this pen, just connect it to A4 and A5. And here it shows, depending on the board, if you're using Arduino Uno, SDA is analog 4 and SCL is analog 5 by default. And if you're using Arduino Mega, then SDA is 20, SCL is 21, and Leonardo and others. So I'll provide the link for you once you arrive on this page. By click, Once you click on the link for the library, you will come on this page click download and then save it somewhere that you prefer in my case I'm saving it here so if you're using Google you will see this otherwise on the other browser you will find out where it is so show in folder now it shows here so if I right click here and select 7-zip I can use extract here so if you don't have 7-zip go get it from 7-zip.org uh, and once you right click and extract here, you will see this folder, AM2320 master. So this inside this, there is AM2320.h and then .cpp. Right click on this folder, copy, and go to your Arduino folder. Arduino folder could be in drive C, program files, Arduino, depending on your uh, computer in my case uh, in my case it's here so once you arrive at the Arduino folder you will see uh, libraries somewhere here just click paste on an empty spot once you paste it you will see this folder the folder is here then you can open this Arduino program once when you paste the library if the Arduino is open it will not work so you have to close it and then open this again then go to file example and then you will see the am2320 master and then open this so let me explain the code for this project the original code for am2320 have been taken from this address the link will be provided so you can get the library and uh, then all the libraries will be provided but uh, so you have to put the library in the library folder which I've explained it separately for the uh, module and I've, I've also explained it in the LCD so I'm not gonna go through that so let's explain it this line refers to the uh, AM2320 header file which needs from library and then this initializes the instance of the sensor or create this sensor object and this portion is for the LCD screen which is liquid crystal i2c.h this also will be provided you can get it from the link and include it in your library if in case you don't have it and then this line will say that it's six, it has 16 character and two line and this is the i2c address for this uh, i2c module with a LCD screen I will also provide a link, uh, I will also provide a code for the uh, address scanner which you can connect and run the code and it will tell you the address for this device. So the address is 0x27 for almost all the modules. In case the L2C address of yours is different, then you have to follow separate instruction that I've created a video how to find out the address. Now and inside the setup, this begins the sensor, initializes, and then all of these are for LCD. So this says LCD begin, and it says a backlight, and then this is a text is printed, and we go to the next line, which is 
uh, character 0 and line 1. So we have line 0 and this goes to line 1 and then prints this text. And then it waits for 3 seconds for the device to initialize and the setup runs only once and that's done. Then we go inside the loop which starts from there to here. Inside the loop we say if a sensor measurement is available or measure available then we clear the screen and then we print this temp so this clears and this prints the temp or temperature with a, with a, with a colon and then this line takes temp and inside the quotation we put C if you want it Fahrenheit we just put capital F so this will print this 24 degrees and then this line we just print the C this C and after that we go to the character 0 of the first line so this is line 0 and that's line 1 actually this is the second line which is line 1 and then we print relative humidity or H and then colon after that we say sensor humidity sensor dot get humidity this will get the humidity for us and then we also print the percent at the end now if the sensor measurement has some kind of error then we say sensor dot get error it will get the error code and stores it in the error code integer and then which will be a number then we say switch the job of the switch is to get the value and go case by case if the error code is 1 it goes LCD print it will, this will be printed on the screen which is uh, sensor offline so it says offline Uh, this was not fitting on the screen so I just changed it so this says the sensor is offline and then FCRC uh, failed so this too will help you to uh, troubleshoot and after that we just wait 500 milliseconds so the only thing that is uh, I've written to make it simple is this to convert between Celsius and Fahrenheit is this one so we say temp inside the single quotation we put C now how, how it works is I've created another method here which I've explained it fully here so this is the temp the, that method or function that ends from starts here and ends here so when you put C it becomes a character we call it T or temperature and we say if T is equal F which is Fahrenheit then we say get the temperature this will get originally by design it gives uh, Celsius multiplies it by 1.8 plus 32 this is the formula for converting it to Fahrenheit and then returns the value if it's not F anything else including empty uh, for, for example empty like that will return the Celsius that will be Celsius or even if I put empty it will return the Celsius because only Fahrenheit is important to put F in this case and that's it so it will continue uh, going like that which I'm going to demonstrate next so now I've changed it to Fahrenheit it shows temperature in Fahrenheit and I put the character F as you can see here F is shown and this the value is in Fahrenheit so to make it Celsius simply go back to C so that C will bring Celsius and also this is a text inside double quotations remember this single quote will give you actual value this double quote is a text so now it shows it as Celsius display Celsius and Fahrenheit both of them so you can just do this one I just put T because total is 16 character and we call it F we get Fahrenheit and we show F, uh, letter F and then we capital C with we get the temperature in Celsius and show this. The rest is the same. Let me upload it. So now it shows Fahrenheit slash Celsius. Now if I apply heat, 
you will see the both of them I'm applying heat with a heat gun As you can see here the temperature in Celsius also increased 54 and has 130 Fahrenheit Thank you for watching. This was an introduction to this AM2320 temperature and humidity sensor. Please subscribe so you can get updates of my upcoming videos. Take care.